Hello, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pony and today I'll show you how to win the new Agario Battle Royale mode and also give my review on this game mode. And we're starting right now. So this was a video that I streamed on Twitch. It's my first win in the new Battle Royale game mode on Agario. And basically what you want to do in the beginning of course is eat some pellets so you can get big enough to split and collect pellets faster. But anyway, this game mode is fun. It almost feels like the good old days when everyone was new at Agario. Feels like it's lacking something though. There's not a lot of action. It's very difficult to eliminate other players in such a short time. I do like that the game mode is fast paced though because I like playing solo and I saw no teams in any of the games that I played so far. But I'm basically just right now where I can split, collect some mass a little bit faster. And basically I want to get to the point where I can start eating viruses. You see that mother cell right there? I'm just going to collect all the pellets around it. There's nobody nearby. I'm just waiting to... Well, I thought he was going to wait to... <laughs> to merge on that virus, but I just send that piece into the mother cell, eat all those pieces, and now I'm gonna eat a virus. Send all the pieces into the mother cell. Now collect all of my mass back. Luckily, there is nobody else nearby, so I can get away with doing this. So at this point, I'm just like, alright, how many of these viruses can I get away with eating? So I'm like, alright, I'll eat this one next. Send all the pieces except for one or two pieces into the mother cell. Eat all the pieces. I'm basically getting everything from that virus back, but without having to be split into a million different pieces. Eat all those pellets, and now there's another virus up to the left. I guess I didn't go for it. Oh yeah, I wanted to get into the safe area. So now the safe area is shrinking for the first time. I think I still have some time to eat some viruses though. Okay, so now I found another mother cell. So now I'm going to be looking for a virus. There's a virus right there, and there's a mother cell that's even closer. Send all the pieces into that, and then get all my mass back. So I have like 35 seconds until the safe area shrinks again. So now I'm going to have to rotate into the safe area. But I think it's around this point that I'm just like, alright, I have enough mass, I'm not going to split too much more unless there's a really good opportunity to split. So I got 10 seconds, I'm almost there. You gotta be nice and big, like when it gets into the late game. Now if you're big enough in the late game, you just avoid splitting. Unless, obviously, there's like an opportunity that you just cannot miss splitting on, but... For the most part, I, I just stayed one cell and just kind of chill in the center, especially when it gets like really small. Like you see how like right now there's no one that's really like way bigger than me, so I'm kind of safe. Not the biggest one, but if you play smart, you can still get things to turn in your favor as the game progresses. Like, right now, I'm, I'm just hanging out, like, right near the middle. Just waiting for the storm to shrink. I guess it's kind of, like, a joke in PUBG. All you do is just camp, mostly, or whatever, to, to win. But I guess on this, you just, like, hover around and wait for a good opportunity to eat other players. It's not camping, though.
And while there is room for improvement in this game mode, Battle Royale is definitely the rage in gaming right now, and you should definitely dust off Agario and give this game a try. And I'm, I was watching this on Twitch and recording it. Anyway, that's how I ended up winning for the very first time on the new Battle Royale mode. But anyway, like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's been real, it's been fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.